In this video, I'm going to show you how to add filters to your financial reports. So we're going to go into our accounting application. We'll look at one of our reports, let's say our balance sheet. By default, there's no filters here, um, just the general filters that Odoo creates for us, such as sorting by date, comparing different um, financial periods, filtering out journals. If you have any analytic counts or tags, we can filter by those. And then we can have the option to see posted entries um, or on posted entries as well. Sometimes you want to filter your reports by different factors, such as maybe a partner. So you only want to see information related to that partner, specifically on your profit and loss statement. And the way you can do that is by going to accounting and we're going to go into our journal items. I'm in debug mode here in developer mode. So I'm going to go to our journal items. And we can see all of our journal items here. So I'm going to look at customer one. So what we can do is create a new filter that has a partner that contains customer one. And maybe we also want to see anything that has a partner uh, vendor one for whatever reason. So we actually don't have anything that has both of them, of course. So what we're gonna actually do is filter this. We'll say partner contains customer one. We're gonna add a condition or partners contain vendor one. And we'll apply this filter. Now we only see entries related to customer one or vendor one. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this current search. Now that I've saved it under our journal items, I can go into configurations and scroll down until we see our financial reports. This is where all the data for our financial report setup is. And now that I'm in our profit and loss statement, I can actually add a filter here. And this applicable filter only shows us those filters that we created um, in our journal items. So I'm gonna select this filter. Now when I go to our profit and loss statement, we see a filter option now and we can choose our custom filter. Now you see our income and expenses were adjusted according to journal items that contain customer one or vendor one as the partner. You can do this for a host of different filters um, and this is how you would accomplish that.